Mm. When I was in Alaska every summer with Steve, um, of course I would assist him in the class and assist him wherever I could. Um, but after the class we always would go out um, and on just on a journey and see if we could make some essences. And for me, yeah, be, that, having that intuitive part, it's actually whether you communicate with the soul of an animal or with the deva of a plant or a flower or a tree or a gem. It's all communication. It's all about listening. And um, I noticed that when I'm making an essence and just having my notebook and just kind of ask, like, okay, so this deva, what can you help me with? What can you help the people in the world with? The information would come and I would just write, write, write. <laughs> And Steve would always say, um, you know, this is great. Your information is valuable. He would joke, like, oh, you're even better at it than I am. Look at the amount of information that you have. And then when we had finished making, in essence, then in the evening in our um, um, room at a and b or hotel, wherever we were, we would compare notes and see, oh, yeah, I got that. Oh, see how we can match this up. So that was really nice for him also to see, okay, Judith can do this. She can do this. Um, and actually last November, um, we talked about the business and he wondered like, you know, what would happen if I would pass away? What if something happens to me? And then at that time I said, well, of course I would continue to work. Um, that would then be my calling. That would then be the reason we got together. And, but I said, you know, don't be so silly. You'll be 90 years old. That's just like your dad. And it was very comforting for him, actually. Um, he said it later that evening. He said, thank you for saying that. And at that time, we didn't know what would happen. And now, in June, I was in Alaska. And um, a friend of mine borrowed me her a little camper, a little RV, and it was just me and my dog just driving through the state. And that's when I could actually even feel more what Alaska is all about. And every part where I would drive around, I could feel the energies of either from um, the wilderness, like in the Denali Park, or more in the area with all the glaciers and the bogs. I could really sense the differences in, in feeling how the land feels up there. And I even got a better understanding of Steve, what he always meant by this is Alaska. This is the energy of the wilderness, the glaciers, the bogs. And um, that was wonderful. And also um, making the essences this year, um, I was guided. Um, the first time when the sun was out, I knew that I wanted to make a green garnet, one of our research gems. And I had brought it with me and I thought, well, this is a nice way to start because I, you know, it's just a gem. I have it in my backpack. It's always here. And the moment I sat down, uh, it was just like this whole team kind of showed up and said, hey, well, we got you. We can help you with this. Just sit down and we'll let you know when things are finished. And a wonderful thing happened that um, normally I would rely on Steve when we would make an essence. He would send like, okay, now it's ready. It's got element air, water, uh, uh, fire, um, earth. So I would rely on him. And I wondered like, how, how will that happen this time? How will I know whether when the essence is ready? And they helped me by showing me how it the essence ball is kind of interacting with all the elements. And I thought the first time, like, wow, look at that. They're really helping me, showing what's happening in the ball. And after one and a half, two hours, you could kind of see how it would be kind of sealed. And I thought, no, that is interesting. I now have my own way of knowing what's happening. They're really helping me. And um, the next essence that I wanted to make, that I felt like making, was star flower. And I just knew it has to be starflower. I know where it should be. And me and my dog, we went out and parked the car, walked on the trail, and I found starflower. But the next day, I discovered that I had taken the wrong trail. It was like a deer track that we were walking. 
And because the next day I was there to walk even further on the trail and that's when uh, I parked my car in a different way and I thought, oh, wait a minute, the trail is over there. I took a deer track where the wild animals were walking. And so we did a real trail, was no star flower. So, so that's when I, I started laughing and they said, oh, that is so funny. You know, just, you're just guiding me <laughs> to the um, right direction. So by these things happening, I feel like, yeah, there is a lot of guidance and we're doing the right thing. Um, 